vlog. I think you should make a new video. Okay. Hey there everybody, welcome to another Vickly Vlog video. Let's get straight to the point. A few months ago, I uploaded on my 2 Kicks channel, which is a channel that I don't use anymore, a video on how like gear needed for soccer referees. I got over 1,600 views on that, so I'm going to be doing another one, but better. More quality, and I think in a brighter area. So let's just get started with that. Here's the basic gear and equipment that you're going to need. So first things first, you're going to need your red card and your yellow card. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you're going to give out your cards, where are you going to need to bring them? So bring your red, bring your yellow. There's not much more to say. Next on, you need your referee wallet right here. This wallet is very important. Inside, I keep sticky notes. Some referees keep those organizer things. Basically, you write down the teams, what location you're in, who scored, what time, etc, etc. That's very important as a referee, and you're going to need that a lot. So make sure you bring your referee wallet all the time. Next on, I bring this coin. It's a nice, has some weight to it, coin. And it's basically used for the pregame. When the captains come over, shake hands, you have to decide which side the team is playing on who gets ball so you use the coin to do the flip i'll try to flip one right now ah! Ah! okay next on it's a very important thing the sports watch this sports watch is very important because it's digital it's a digital clock so you can see right off what time it is you use these buttons to track the time and also check out like the stopwatch you get to check out how much time is left and keep track of the time of each half which is very important to you, so get yourself a watch digital. Next on, you want to bring some whistles. Usually bring two or three because if there's a field beside you and they're using the same whistle as you, it might get confusing. So, over here I have a whistle that the club gave me. Basic whistle with a P inside. Here's how it sounds. I kind of like the sound, but you can hear there's like a sound to it. And um, because there's a P in it and if it gets wet or if it's raining, it might not sound as well. So that is why I use my Fox 40 classic whistle, this Fox 40. And it sounds really nice, it's very useful, and it has no pee inside. So even if it's raining, even if you just washed it, you can still use it really well. And that has a nice, sharp, solid tone to it. I really like the sound. Next on, bring some pens, one or two or even more, because you want to use these to write down who scored, what time it is, let the coaches sign the game sheets, etc, etc. And next, bring an assistant referee flag. Honestly, even if you're not being an assistant referee or um, you're the only referee and there's no assistant referees in the game, bring a flag because sometimes you might need to use it or some other referee might need to borrow an assistant referee flag. So just bring one for yourself or for somebody as a spare because this really helps. I've been to a tournament where um, for one game, I had to be an assistant referee. I wasn't assigned it before, so I had no flag. You should always bring a flag. Next on, here is a binder. A binder, I usually put the game that I'm refereeing, the game sheet, on the front. And on the back, in here, these are all my finished games that I put in. And basically, this binder helps keep your game sheets organized and make sure that you don't drop the game sheets after the game or before the game. Because you really need them. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but if... You are free in Canada, well, you only get paid if you give your game sheet into the club. So that is very, very important. Even if you don't get paid, you want your game sheets all organized so that the club can see them. Okay, here is the folder. There is a lot of important information inside here. There are the league rules, how to log into your online system. So if a coach or you have any questions, you can look through pre-game, look through the rules, etc. Now, also, something very important is water. Stay hydrated because you might think you're not playing, you're not going to be thirsty. Well, you might be thirsty, especially if you're doing one-on-one -one game. Always bring water. At least a bottle, sometimes maybe two, whether it's a plastic water bottle or those reusable metal or plastic water bottles. Those are very important to use. Stay hydrated and drink water outside. Also, some things that I did not bring over are sunscreen. Sunscreen is important because you're going to be outside. UV rays, make sure it has SPF 15 or more. Bug spray. Bug spray is super important, especially when you're refereeing during nighttime games because the mosquitoes out there are all over the place and you need to bring sunscreen for safety and, I mean, bring sunscreen, yes, but also bug spray for safety and prevention of bug, such as mosquito, mosquitoes and other bugs as well. 
and also bring a garbage bag. A garbage bag helps you a lot because if it's raining, bring your garbage bag, open it, put all your stuff in the garbage bag and close it off so the garbage bag is waterproof, right? So your stuff that you put in there are all waterproof and dry. That's very important. I've been to a game, my second ever refereeing game in the city and it was raining so much I didn't have a garbage bag all my stuff got wet, so bring a garbage bag. Very important. And also bring yourself a duffel bag. Doesn't have to be waterproof because you have a garbage bag, right? But always bring a duffel bag to put all your equipment inside so you don't always have to go look for them because all your stuff is inside already, right? Next off, I'm going to show you what clothes that I've been using. First off, here are the referee shorts. Referee shorts don't have that white line like player shorts do. It's a single color and it's very important. They have pockets on either side, and also Velcro, Velcro pockets on the back, two of them. These are very useful. The front right pocket I usually put my referee wallet in. The right back pocket I put my red card in there. My yellow card is usually on this pocket over here, which I will show you on my shirt. That keeps your card separated and organized so you know which card you're pulling out. Alright, next off, some dark colored long soccer socks. You get them from any sporting store. You get them if you play soccer. So those are very important. Those are simple regular referee socks. Next off, bring some referee jerseys. Here is the black colored jersey. The black colored jersey is very important and um, it's, it's kind of small on me now but here it is. Try to get a black colored shirt because many referees wear black color if you're a beginner referee. And oh yeah, make sure they all have this Velcro on the side because you'll see after there's a badge that you need to put on the referee jersey. Over here, bring a spare color or an alternate color. The yellow referee jersey, it's very important as well. Not much to say about it other than the fact that referee jerseys have a pocket on the side and usually another pocket on here. This one is nice, it has a pen holder you usually put your pen on the front and here is why you need the velcro because if you're a referee you get a referee badge right you always have to put it on the velcro nice and snug so two jerseys help prevent you from matching with the other team and their color as well so that's about it of course there's a lot of expensive equipment or non-basic equipment that referees of uh, better levels use well i'm only showing you the beginner equipment that you're going to need basic stuff that you're going to need Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you did not already to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!